Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to do a sort of first impression slash tutorial on the NYX Brights palette. So I just got this for Halloween and I can't wait to do like a whole bunch of looks with it. But today I'm going to be trying it out for the very first time. So, yeah, let's get into it. So now I'm going to just take this fluffy brush and I'm just going to take coconut cream from my semi-sweet palette and I'm just going to use that to set the primer. Now I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm just going to go into mousse right here because the NYX palette doesn't have like a neutral transition shade for me to use. Now I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do, I might do a reddish pink look. So looking at these colors I'm drawn to like these two rows like a lot so I really want to do something with those. So I think I'm going to go into maybe this shade first with my blending brush. Ooh, color payoff. Okay, now I'm gonna just put that in the crease. It's there, like you can tell it's there. I just might need to build up the color a little more. Not bad. Okay, so let's do the other eye. Okay, so now that we got that color down, I think I'm going to go into this hot pink right here with a crease brush and just kind of see how that works out. Okay, my brush is like completely coated now. Not too bad, okay. Because I did swatch these last night, and like some of the swatches really worried me. Because like there was a yellow that wasn't that pigmented, and like there was a green, it was just like, oh my god. Alrighty, so okay, what do I want to do on the lid? Hmm. I'm going to be in between this red shade and then this purple one. Oh. I feel like I should do the red. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. flat shader brush. Just go into that red. Dang. Okay. Let's see how this works out. Not bad, I didn't have to work that hard to get the color there. I really like this. Okay, so let me do the other eye. Okay, so I did the lid. Now I'm going to take this little crease brush again. I'm going to go into this hot pink shade and then I'm going to just try to smoke it out on the lower lash line a bit. I 
I might add a little bit of purple. I think I'm feeling purple. Yep, I'm adding purple. Okay. So I'm going to go into this purple right here. And that's just going to kind of mix with the pink. I'm kind of living for this. Okay. And a lot of these shades in this palette are matte, and then like there's some that are satin. Alrighty. Oh, I want to play with another color, but I don't want to like mess this up. You know what? I'm gonna put this green right here in the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna clean that brush off. It's kind of like a shimmer green. I'm gonna just put that in the inner corner of my eye. Yes, oh my gosh, okay. I'm so impressed with this. Okay. Now just to finish it off, I'm just gonna go back to my semi-sweet palette with Butter Pecan and just put that on my brow bone. So I like never play with color. This was so new to me. Let me just put on mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so overall, I really like this palette. For a drugstore palette, it's really good. The price point was a bit high. This was, I think, $18. But I think it's going to be super fun for when I want to do like colorful looks, especially for Halloween. And as for the primer, I'm going to have to wear this throughout the day and see how it works. But I don't think it affected the application of the shadows. Um... Yeah, I really like how this turned out. I don't know, I might start playing with color more. But yeah, this was just a quick little video. I hope you guys liked it. And let me know what else you want to see. I might do another Halloween look next week. So, I don't know, I'll have to see. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!